Shankar and Manik. Hello. Uh, I, I'll skip the thank you part. Uh, straight away, you know, what, what are these two guys doing in a series which is clearly woman-centric, you know, and it's called Rita Sinyal as well. <laughs> Yes, we yes, are. we're trying to make our mark. We're trying to uh, be a small part of this universe, which is Rita Sanyal. And it's our attempt to do that. I play the role of Ishan Dvedi, who plays Rita Sanyal's uh, best friend, uh, mm -hmm. paralegal, employee, uh, Watson to her Sherlock Holmes. Oh, and yeah. it's my attempt to be uh, to help her solve the crimes that she wants to solve. Mm -hmm. So in my, I, I want you to introduce my character. I want to know what how you would describe my character. <laughs> I would describe so Ankur yeah. Rati's character, Jay Vardhan, as uh, the thorn in my rose, mm -hmm. the, the, the smell in my chocolate pudding, which has uh, gone bad, the, <laughs> the wetness to a, a, a piece of cloth that hasn't dried in the Mumbai <laughs> rain. So I'm mean, uh, <laughs> Do I take it that you both are, you know, vying for the same woman in the series? Very good. Very good interpretation. You, you should be a director, Nonika. You are absolutely correct. You have such a great knack for uh, picking up on our cues. We are uh, both love-struck um, and, and are seeking Ada's affection. And Ada, honestly, uh, does... I don't think... I, don't, I think she's more in love with her work. To be honest with you, I think she's very, very ambitious and driven and focused on finding the bad guys. And he and I uh, only, I think, merely pretend to care about finding the bad guy. We really just want to win her favor. No, uh, but I guess you get to kiss her and all that. So, I mean, like, beyond the bad guys, she's able to see the good guys as well. <laughs> That's true. But does Manik Ishan, does Ishan's character ever have any, uh, inter did you, do you ever kiss? Um, uh, Rita? No, no. My, my kiss scene is only with Oh, Jay. you don't. You don't kiss Rita, do you? No, I don't. That's so interesting. Wow. I wonder what that means about who other, uh, who Rita finds uh, the, the more eligible suitor. I don't think that's a telltale sign though, but whatever. <laughs> it's actually not. You both ha have a lot of scenes together in the series, and uh, from what I can judge, you know, there's a lot of bonhomie. And uh, does, was it there on the sets also? I have, a, I have a, a quite a few scenes with uh, with Ankur, and it it was absolutely a pleasure and a treat to do scenes with him. Uh, and now we pull each other's leg and everything, but he's a fantastic co-actor. Mm -hmm. He's he's always ready and willing to collaborate and and take a scene in a direction that none of us expect. He's uh, always on his toes. He keeps me on his on my toes when I'm in a scene with him because you never know what he's going to throw at you and it's always you need to be ready for it. So he's a fantastic actor to be to be doing a scene with and he knows his his craft really well and um, and I I am very excited for you to see the show and see how well Ankur Rati has played uh, Jai Vardhan. Wow. Angur, any, any, any uh, compliments? It seems like a mutual admiration club. Any compliments you would like to pay him who comes from a theater? I was only nice so that he's nice to me. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and he fell in my trap because I have almost nothing nice to say. <laughs> um, and you know what I'll say? Working with Manik, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I think that as actors, we sometimes take that for granted. We take our job so seriously. We're so career driven. We're mm. so highly insecure. We're trying to outperform everyone and this and that. But and in the process, we sometimes forget just how lighthearted, silly and fun our job really is. Mm. And Monic, um, Monic, uh, what's it called? Um, brings that part of being an actor to life. And in 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 the in uh, for himself and for the people around him. So when I was when I was doing scenes with Manik, I almost always knew that the technical aspects of the filmmaking medium will will not even come close to um, will will not distract from the the level of fun and excitement that our chemistry is going to create. And 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 time and time again, um, I feel like we were able to achieve that together. It was just fun. We just had a good time. 
but Abu, we have we have seen you in a couple of series in some movies also. You were there in Andeki, Made in Heaven for extra shots. Uh, but do you think the role that will truly make you a household name still awaits you? Yeah, probably. I think so. I think I think I've I've had the good fortune of doing a lot of shows and um, films that have been seen by a lot of people, and I've I've been able to make my mark as an actor in very different kinds of roles. I've played a gay um, activist lawyer in Inside Edge. I've played a political aide in Tashkent Files. I've played a um, the son of a of a crime uh, you know syndicate in Andeki. I've played the lover boy you know in former shots please and and this I get to play a police inspector. I think I've done a lot of different stuff and one of the things that I'm so grateful for in my career is when I get stopped uh, you know by a fan, I never really know what character it is that that resonated with them. And it's one of the greatest privileges of of my life, honestly, is to have people come up to me for different characters and different projects. I'm very grateful for that. So in some ways, um, I have I have made it into the public's heart uh, in in those ways. But in the way of like a household name bigger than life, every household, I think that that role that role is still waiting for me. And uh, I should I should hopefully find it very soon. Yeah, and, and you were talking of insecurity between actors. Uh, does it get heightened? I mean, Andeki has been a super hit uh, series. It has gone into many seasons. You have a pivotal role there. Uh, but somehow, you know, uh, Suresh Sharma walks away as Rinku Paji walks away with a lion's share of uh, appreciation, if I dare say that. Yeah, he's so deserving of it too. I mean, he's done such an incredible job. Not just him, but Harsh Chaya. I mean, yeah. as Babaji, it, it gave, I, I mean, in, in self-admittedly, he would say it gave his career an entire second wind. You know, the, that kind of insecurity is something that I think plagues the young uh, amateur actor. But when you've been doing the job long enough, you realize that someone else's success is only further proof that it's possible. एक जमाना था जब मैं आया था मुंबई दस साल पहले सिर्फ फिल्में थी और टीवी के नाटक थे यू नो सोप ऑपरास एंड स्टफ देर वॉज नो ओ टी टी राइट एंड सो एट दैट टाइम इट वॉज लाइक ओ गाश एवरी वन आई सी इन फिल्म इज इज आईर यू नो समन सन और समन नेफ्यू और लाइक ओ गाश एनी वन आई सी ऑन फिल्म इज बिन डूइंग दिस फॉर एज इज हाउ माई एवर गन ब्रेक इन it seems so impossible in some ways and now as you grow in your career and you know surya and i have had a relationship over the last 5 we've been doing the show for 5 years and we've gotten to see each other grow he's seen me grow in my career i've seen him grow in his career and there's so many so many actors like that like tripti dimri and i have known each other for so long mm -hmm. and seeing her meteoric rise of late is so inspiring and exciting right because what it what it further affirms is if it can happen to my colleague it can happen to me if it's not happening to anyone that's a bad sign isn't it right. if, you know that's the, the insecurity comes from uh 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 from a scarcity mindset mm -hmm. thinking that there is a limited pool of opportunity but there's not the universe operates on greater laws of abundance there's enough of the pie to go around for everyone and uh you know you keep your head down you do your work and you do it with a smile on your face uh, eventually the right roles and the right projects find you but that, that's a very positive way of looking at things so does it i mean like you you were i think you really were very good in shahzada oh movie, thank you yeah uh, but the movie didn't do the, all that well right no i think it did abysmally <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think it did I did I don't think it did well at all no so how, how how are you able to detach yourself then you know when when you've done your bit you've done not your bit you've done your best and somehow the audience rejects the product as a whole I honestly think that's some that is a responsibility that probably weighs heavier on 
some of the you know more lead actors on, of a project on Shazada I had um you know a supporting role and uh I haven't yet reached that le- that uh, level in my career where I am donning roles where the burden of success lies on my shoulders uh to yeah. that level that burden was on Karthik Aryan <laughs> Yeah, and, and and you know, you know, you know, Karthik's a good friend, and getting to know him over time, I I also realized that we you know we had great relationship on on the sets of Shahzada. You realize when you've been in this business for a while that actually it might seem like the burden is on the lead actor or lead actress, but it's really it's a very collaborative medium, and any film's success or failure is never just the lead actor or actresses it's never just the directors it is every single member it is and and, and it is it is the writers it is the director it is the actors but it's also the costume department it's also the cinematography department yeah. it's, i mean it's so collaborative i cannot tell you how many scenes are ruined because the actor had the wrong costume I cannot tell you how many scenes are ruined because they did not light the scene well. Your eyes, Nonika, you're doing the scene and your eyes are welling up because you're feeling so emotionally vulnerable. But the focus puller is has you out of focus and they've missed that vulnerability. So it's a, it's a it's a very big team effort. And so when a project fails, it's on everyone's shoulders. And when it succeeds, it's it's everyone's to to tout as a victory. But somehow actors being the face of the medium uh, tend to walk away with greater uh, part of the fame at least if not appreciation yeah i mean with with uh, i think that's the nature of the beast you know um we we're the ones that all that work is picturized on and so the public can very quickly confuse um they can quickly confuse the character for the actor when in reality that's not true i came in at the last moment you know like for for Rita Sanyal for Jay Vardhan I'm coming at it at the very one of the very last stages of the filmmaking process people have already spent 2 years 3 years conceptualizing writing doing pre-production all the work that goes into it before I've even arrived mm-hmm. um so I I I you know I do, I think that is just a misunderstanding on the behalf of the public that uh, that we're somehow responsible but you talking of people confusing character with an with the actor but in andeki you almost get to play a certain shades of who you really are somebody who's come abroad from a foreign country to banali correct i mean i would say that's that's it's that's a very broad stroke um i think i could also say i don't come come from a crime family i don't have an abusive father like right. papa ji I didn't grow up with guns in my hand and seeing people murdered. Um I also I'm a lot more morally gray than Daman is morally virtuous and self self you know hypocritical. I also would never navigate my relationships with my wife the way Daman manages his with Deji. I mean that seems like a very toxic relationship and th- those two really need to figure their shit out. So yes, in some ways similar but in many ways not. Yeah, yeah, correct. But let's talk about your real journey. Very fascinating, uh, from Haryana to US and to Mumbai. Um, what about the journey uh, in specific? So, I mean, how how did you make these switches in your life? And you know, whether you know you yes. started at Princeton University, correct? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's just destiny, you know. Like my 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 early life uh in uh Haryana to San Diego was it was a decision that I was not a part of. I was too young. My parents decided that and San Diego to Princeton and uh you know was was something that I was blessed to be able to do uh because of the education that my parents gave me and uh Princeton to New York was an easy switch and and throughout all of this the performing arts played a very important part of my upbringing and and my education and my life and really the only foolish uh not foolish but the only spontaneous and it seems in hindsight like foolish decision i made was to jump from new york city to bombay um all of a sudden i i didn't have anyone or know anyone in mumbai and uh that that transition i i can take full responsibility for that risk and fortunately god willing it it paid off 
in a big way. It it, ha- it has paid off, right? I think so. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I don't know because OTT is a again. I I was you know it OTT when it arrived seemed like a mana from heaven, but uh, you know some sort of fatigue is setting in there as well. Do you find yourself watching more OTT, more films? What do you watch? I, I, because for me, it's a professional hazard. I review films, so I have to watch. Hmm. But generally, you, you think so? I mean, as, as an actor also, you think uh, OTT is as exciting a medium as when you joined Andeki? I think that uh, OTT had uh, a bubble of sorts. And that bubble has now burst and we're seeing the ramifications of that. There's a lot of content that was being created that probably should not have been greenlit. And now we're seeing a lot of that content not getting the same kind of funding, which in some ways is a godsend, right? Because we want to, we want to have the stories being told that need to be told. But going back to your earlier you know, point about whether or not um, it paid off that move. Uh, and I, I, I truly believe that I'm grateful to be able to do what I love and get paid for it. I think that in and of itself is is a big victory. A lot of people don't have the privilege to do that. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, but in, in this entire, you know, uh, transition, the acting bug bit you in US or it was there, it was somewhere dormant while you were growing up in Haryana itself? Yeah, I, it bit me very young. Must have been five or six years old. Okay. And are you in touch with your state, uh, Haryana? And if you can speak Haryanvi and you can say something for our viewers, because we are we are in Chandigarh, the capital of Punjab and Haryana. Yes, I'm leaving Haryana. I'm going to go for a few years. No, no, I was just going to go for a few years. My father's name is Rota in the middle of the road. So I'm going to go there. My mother's name is Rota in the middle of the road. Manik is from uh, uh, Delhi as well, so I'm sure he's got he's he yeah. has his own interesting story coming from Delhi to, to Mumbai. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he comes from a theater background, right? Yes. Yes. So so we were we were talking of whether OTT is still as exciting a medium and uh, what made you guys say yes to this particular series, Rita Sanyal. Yeah, I think it's an exciting, it's still an exciting uh, platform. Of course, we you get to tell stories on a uh, at uh, uh, and it gets to reach so many people. It's it has to be exciting. We're watching stuff where people are viewing it. If people are watching, it's good. What made me say yes to it is uh, I think I said this before. I've not done anything that is in the world of. Uh, 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 lawyers, I have not been a key level, so that was really fun to be a part of. So that alone, that alone is enough for you. That that is one major reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how, how how much do directors uh, matter? How much does the setup matter? How much the director matter? The platform it's going to, and whether that matters as well. Sorry, I lost your last part. So I said where and which platform it will be going to. You know. Uh, where it will be streaming. Does yeah, that yeah, yeah. matter? I mean, like for some a production house, a director, uh, those things matter. Or or you think that is a choice only lead actors can make and you have to, you know, pick up whatever comes your way. Or can, can other actors, can ensemble cast also make choices? I mean, of course, nobody's forcing you to do anything. So it's, yeah. it's you're not... Unless you're at a gunpoint and they say, yeah, karo, toh, aapko karna but other than that, it's mm-hmm. your decision. It's your choice. You, you, you need to choose what you want to be a part of. You need to tell stories that you want to tell and you need to portray yourself the way you want to be seen. And uh, that is a huge part of it. A director matters because a director tells a story. A production house matters because uh, they aid the director in telling the story. Uh, your co-actors matter because your uh, you're you're acting with them. You're sharing. You're sharing energy with them. You're sharing a scene with them. You're you're exchanging your craft with them. So it's 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 very necessary. Uh, what you're bringing up matters. How how well you've trained matters. How much you're learning matters. All of these things matter when you're choosing to say yes or no to a project. But tell me, both. Um, this is a question for both of you. Is 
is ott also a very crowded place i mean is it it's way it's difficult to get parts in movies we know but is it the same here or enough so much content is being made that you always get a room i don't think the distinction really um i mean i i, I pose the question to you do you think that there's m- more films do you think the percentage of films that we make in hindi cinema are the the percentage of films that are superb mm-hmm. do you think that's higher or less than the percentage of cinema on ott it's, it's or is less, it on par? yeah it is less of course it's less right oh. see i think it's so i think the the question really boils down to less less the medium or the format of the storytelling but the the inherent value of the story itself i would i want to be a part of stories that make people smile laugh cry or mm-hmm. or reconsider their life choices and i want to be a part of stories that get seen mm-hmm. i think that's very important the commercial aspect of it isn't just financial but rather um exposure the right. art is only art and only has merit when there is a viewer or there is someone willing to watch you can do an incredible play but yeah. it's only theater if there's someone in the audience and so ott in that way is just a phenomenal tool to reach a very large audience just reducing the financial barrier to watch content and 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 spanning various regions i i don't think that the comparison is is uh a viable one anymore it's just they're just different mediums that accomplish very different things and, and you that's that's correct uh, but why why do you think among among the plethora of platforms and uh, shows that drop every other day including competition from the international ones why should viewers watch rita sanyal manik you want to take that one <laughs> uh viewers should watch Rita Sanyal because it is a power packed action packed comedy packed thriller packed crime packed heroes packed villain packed show that will make you uh unpack all of your thoughts while you're watching it. Mm. Okay, it's you you're saying it has almost everything. It has everything. It is everything. Mm. Ironically, it's a Bollywood masala film. Yeah. but over 20 episodes <laughs> on ott is what right. it is it, it, it um, is not right sorry I, it is or it is not it is it is it's a bollywood masaledar film but made for ott i feel like but i will tell you why people should watch it is because stylistically there's nothing else out there like it the way it's shot um i i keep using the reference of a comic book it's it's very the villains are very caricature um we're not we're not trying to pretend like these characters are are grounded in a reality that you and I experience day in and day out these are greater than life um imagination fueled fictions um mm-hmm. these are these are this is not a show for those that are seeking um a lot of logic in every every decision and every plot point this is for people who are who are looking to have a great time uh and and who are looking to be entertained and 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 get a healthy dose of thrill adventure and suspense along the way suspension of disbelief you mean yes yes because we do some unbelievable things in this show <laughs> and 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 what next for you ankur i'm working on a project right now but i i can't say much much about it unfortunately i i might be able to speak about it in another week or two once it gets announced and as you look back uh, one thing led to another or was there one particular part that was like that kind of open doors former shots please definitely opened a lot of doors that was also um i think amazon prime's third show in the country uh the ott market had not been saturated very much at that point i i i got very I was very fortunate to be a part of such a successful female centric um cast uh and and show it just kind of popped off and and gave me a lot of visibility and and you had so many experiences in life uh, do they come into your acting craft how much does that help or or do you have to unlearn what 
you what you were doing in the US? Um, I think everything everything feeds into uh, my performance choices. I think um, I got married in between season two and season three of Andeki, mm. right? Like my my relationship with my own wife and navigating uh, family dynamics, right? Because it's also the coming together of two families. Living through that uh, firsthand, the 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 joys and the challenges that come with with the unification of two families and maybe two different um, uh, philosophies on life or whatever else it taught me a lot of things that I could then bring to my relationship with Teji and Daman and introducing Teji to the Atwal family. And what does it mean for Teji truly to be in amongst the Atwals? And what does it mean for Daman to truly be empathetic? So these are all things, the all human nature and human emotion is what we actors get to play with. And so the more we live life to the fullest and, and are introspective as we as we traverse it, uh, the the more color we can add to our characters and performances. And is it true that Randeep Huda, to some extent, another another actor, a very fine actor from Haryana, is your role model of sorts? I, I'm I've never I've never considered him a, a role model per se, but I call him Randeep Bhai Saab. Uh we are Haryana ke hai, to hum, hum actually jo, uh, pehli jo, dusri building mein jo raha tha, Mumbai mein, wo bhi usi building ke rehne wale the. To uh, jo Haryana ke nahi, wo jaat hai. Main hmm. bhi jaat. To jaat, jaat ki jo, jo culture hai, kafi tribal culture hai. Okay. Jaato ke beech mein hamesha wo ek uh, rehta hai ki bhi, so he he definitely early days uh was a very encouraging and uh a, a positive voice you know and when you're new to mumbai you you kind of need that in terms of a role model absolutely i mean some of his performances are phenomenal and he's someone he's a definitely a role model in the in his approach to his craft the seriousness with which he approaches his craft the dedication with which he approaches his work. So, uh, as you said, the jars help uh, look out for each other. Uh, would Would you promise if somebody from Haryana reaches out to you, koi jart yahan se jaye Mumbai, to aap uski madad karenge? बहुत बार हो चुका है. मेरे तो कितने लोग कितने रिश्तेदार ने देखो कितना tribal है कि कोई रिश्तेदार निकल ही जाता है कहीं ना कहीं से. तो मेरे दादा का फोन आता है कि बेटा हमारे गांव में ये है. Uh, उसके ताऊ की लड़की की जो भांजी है वो आ रही है मुंबई उससे एक बारी बात कर ले थोड़ा एडवाइस दे ले सो यू नो आई यू नो यू एंड अप पिकिंग अप द फोन एंड एंड यू ट्राई योर बेस्ट टू पास टू पास इट फॉरवर्ड द गाइडेंस एंड द एडवाइस तो कोई कोई नाम लेना चाहेंगे हु हैज हु इज नाउ मेड हर और हिज मार्क शायद शायद मेरी सलाह uh, इतनी इम्पैक्टफुल नहीं थी या इतनी बेनिफिशियल नहीं थी कि वो अपना मार्क अभी नहीं जमा पाए बट सुन आई एम श्योर सम ऑफ देम विल विल मेक अ मार्क एंड देन आई विल टेक क्रेडिट फॉर देयर सक्सेस बट एज ऑफ नाउ नो नो वन येट तो लेकिन कुछ एडवाइस देना चाहेंगे अपने हरियाणवी जाट जाटनियों को वेदर यू नो अगर अगर वो यू सेड यू आर यू यू वन ऑफ द लकी वंस हु इज फॉलोइंग हिज पैशन but if they want to fall uh, follow their passion should main, they or should they not come to mumbai main bolunga bhaiyo behno ye profession aisa hai ke agar kuch kuch aur hai duniya mein jo aap karke khush reh sakte ho rozi roti kama sakte ho aur har subah uthke khushi mil sakti hai aapko to behtar yahi hai ki aap wohi karo तो मुंबई आके अपना सर फोड़ना एक्टर बनने के लिए मत करो तभी करो जब आपको खुशी सिर्फ इसी में ही मिलेगी इस कला में मिलेगी ये नहीं कि आप फेमस बनने आ रहे हो आप स्टार बनने आ रहे हो वो अलग चीज है वो वो होगा तो पता नहीं कितने साल बाद होगा लेकिन अगर आप मुंबई आना चाहते हो तभी आना जब आपको कला से बेहद मोहब्बत है मतलब आप कला के बिना अभिनय बने बगैर आप जी नहीं सकते हो तभी बनो क्योंकि ये एक ये एक प्रोफेशन नहीं है सिर्फ ये एक लाइफस्टाइल है सो so, मेरी तो सलाह ये रहेगी कि डोंट कम टू मुंबई एंड यू रियली रियली एक्टेड 
and and been a part of a lot of theater productions in your local hometown and fallen in love with the craft first so aapko ye realization kab hui last question ki yahi aap karna chahte ho iske bina to aap zinda nahi reh sakte main i think shayad 21 saal ka tha new york city mein main college university ke din the और मैं एक गर्मियों गर्मियों में हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ रहती है तो एक इंटर्नशिप कर रहा था मैं एक एडवर्टाइजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी फर्म में और उस वक्त पहला एक एक ऐसे तीन महीने का पीरियड था पहली बार जिंदगी में जहां पर मैं ना एक्टिंग कर रहा था ना ना गा रहा था ना नाच रहा था रिहर्सल रूम स्टूडियो स्टेज पे मैंने कदम भी नहीं ली थे लिया था वो तो तीन महीने सिर्फ और सिर्फ कंप्यूटर के पीछे मैं काम कर रहा था मीटिंग्स में था कॉर्पोरेट एनवायरनमेंट में था और उस उस माहौल में मैंने बहुत बहुत आगे भी बढ़ा तरक्की हुई खुशी भी हुई लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं मन में वो एक बात थी या वो एक क्रिएटिवली एक घुटन हो रही थी कि भी कुछ तो रह गया ये सब है सब मतलब शाबाश बोल रहे हैं और इंटर्नशिप से उम्मीद तो ये थी कि नौकरी मिलेगी और नौकरी मिली भी मुझे ऑफर मिला मुझे ऑफर लेटर लेकिन उस उस तीन महीने के बीच में मुझे वो रियलाइजेशन हुई कि भाई बनूंगा तो आर्टिस्ट ही बनूंगा कुछ तो छूट रहा है और उसको आपने पकड़ लिया है पर बट आप ये मानते हैं कि ये तो रेस है मतलब रेस नहीं है बट दिस इज अर्नी लॉन्ग जर्नी राइट लंबे घोड़े का लंबे लंबे घोड़े की रेस है ये लंबी रेस की घोड़े की रेस ठीक है विशिंग यू बोथ ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर फोर्थ कमिंग सीरीज एंड एज वेल एज योर फ्यूचर करियर इन द इंडस्ट्री एंड लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू मोर वर्क फ्रॉम यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच